Bismillah, this is gonna be two wheels and a dime. This is, uh, it was actually arms day. Just trying to make, I've uh, been training a little different, not feeling, you know, as up to it. Still trying to come in, really trying to work on shaping my body more than the heavy weight so much. But today I feel a little bit better, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and do something to this iron, not let the iron do something to me. So we're gonna see if we can get these two wheels plus a dime that, uh, you know, just in our trying to make some progress. Even if I get it once or twice, hey, I'm good. And we're gonna do it. Let's do it. So keep yourself motivated. So you gotta keep yourself motivated. And it's good to set goals for yourself. What you trying to do? Hard to stay motivated all the time, but sometimes you gotta just figure out what you're trying to do. So I am trying to build myself. I'm trying to get a little stronger, I'm trying to look the best I've ever looked, shaping myself, and that's for me. And you know, as I'm getting older, you want to take care of yourself, and uh, you still want to have something to make sure those youngsters stay in place. <laughs> yeah, baby. Here we go. Bismillah. Let's kill this. Let's make this. This is sissy work anyway. This ain't even real. This is that unreal stuff, that weak stuff. Ah, yeah, that's sissy stuff. Oh, that's too easy. Come on, you got two. Ah, if I can spot her, maybe three. Yeah, that felt good. I'm going to get to three wheels. Give me a couple months. So, like I said, this was arm day. So that's why my arms were shaking a lot already. Um, what I did, I, I've been just doing like a totally weird routine. And I'm actually finding uh, progress. You know, it's not always about your weight, but one thing I learned from some of the people that I followed over the years, let's just, I'll just name them, not saying to go and, you know, you gotta watch the language and stuff, but C.T. Fletcher, Rich Piana, Mike Rashad, Simeon Panda, uh, Michael Hearn, these are the kind of people, of course, you got to go back to Arnold and people like this, Ronnie Coleman, but just to learn different training styles. Because what that does, so what I've been doing lately, just to keep in the gym, but I'm also switching it up. Like my body is shocked, even though I'm not having a lot of time and not really doing a lot of workout, but I'm seeing baby progress because I'm switching it up. And so what I did today, something Rich Piana called the uh, feeders. And it just put blood in my arms. And, and it wasn't, I was doing lightweight, I was doing 15s. And I was doing, uh, uh, which we call it, skull crushers, doing 100, trying to do 100. I, I, I was pausing, but I kept the weight in my hand and it was, it was killing, it was putting blood in the arms. And then it was like a superset. Then 60 hammers, it was only 15 pounds. But trying to do that consecutively, that was just reps. That was just about reps. So sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's heavy. And that's one thing I learned from all those guys and a lot of listening to the professionals is to make growth, mixing it up, switching it up, changing your muscle routine. So that's why I'm doing this. Today isn't supposed to even be chess. And I've been actually doing less than this, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Here's the second set. We're, going, we're about to kill this. It's not going to kill me. I'm going to kill it. And this is the last thing I'm going to do probably. Here we go, baby. Bismillah. Show them what we got, because we're going in the right direction by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come on now. Oh, that's too easy. What is that? That's that sissy stuff. Oh, man, get that off me. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's something I got without a spotter. Assalamu alaikum.